in my man's eye. <laughs> the milk was chocolate. The cookies, butter crunch. <laughs> Arm, leg. <laughs> Look, Frank Martin ended that fight. He, he, Harutu, Haruti and Jan, uh, took one knee very eerily to how Errol Spence did kill Brooke. The eye against Errol Spence, but he's gone down on one knee. Under a minute left in the fight, and... They're snatching eyes over here, man. They're, 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 they're orbital bone breakers. Uh, um, they're, uh, they're, they're eye snatchers. The eye collector, the bone breaker, the eye snatcher, the grave digger. I'm on, I'm, on, I'm, on, I'm on my Heather Heatley shit. <laughs> okay, all right, look, I think I was a little hard on Frank Martin last night. <laughs> you know? <laughs> pause. <laughs> that, was, that was a pause. <laughs> okay, look, look. Still, I think Frank Martin learned a lesson. Haru Tunian was was beating, beating, beating Frank Martin. I'm sorry. And then Frank Martin, Rick figured out he had to fight him. And I think fighters got to do this, man. Like I said, just just brushing off the Mayweather effect, just getting that off. We're back to the 90s. When he was trying to box him, when he was trying to play the sport of boxing, Haru Tunian was doing that better than Frank Martin. They both, you know, weren't landing a lot of shots. They were both defensively responsible. It's just how Ruti and Jan was just better at it. But when Frank Martin took the fight to him, that's when the fight was over very quickly. That's when he became the grave digger too. When people were screaming out, eye collector in the crowd, did you feel like, you know, something about that training camp is collecting eyes? Is that what? <laughs> I don't know, I think we just hit hard. <laughs> then that's when he was starting to look familiar. He was starting to look like Errol, the grave digger to Spence. The big fish, you know, stretch season, man down, everybody know that. The grave digger too. <laughs> Speaking of which, Errol Spence uh, had a post-fight interview for the Frank Martin fight. And he was talking about dedication and how um, he hasn't got any cutty. <laughs> I ain't had sex in probably like eight weeks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 remember that part on Hitch where that lady just snapped when she was trying to get a date on... You know what, this is really kind of distracting and I haven't gotten laid in a year! And that's the black dojo. You know it's real. Nobody even asked Errol that shit. Errol was like, look, I haven't gotten laid in a... <laughs> That's some dedication. You know, but that's a thing. That's been going on in boxing forever. They don't know. We don't know if it's a myth or not, but he's not taking any chances, okay? He's trying to make sure he has all the chi built that he can possibly build. <laughs> um, he also said that he's going to beat him one-sidedly. Check this out. We're going to fight ready for the great show. A one-sided ass beating. That, like I said, I think that is coming from... Um, um, his confidence, um, his sparrings, his his training, it's pretty much over. He shouldn't be doing any hard sparring now. Not like that. This may be the last week. Remember that last time he was doing hard sparring late for Manny Pacquiao, over-dedicated, and he suffered from a partially torn retina. So hopefully they've learned from that training camp. He doesn't do anything to stop this fight at the very end, pick up any injuries or anything like that. Knock on wood. Uh, same for Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Bud Crawford, you know he's dedicated. And I like what Terrence Bud Crawford is doing. I saw the All Access. I tell you guys who won the All Access too, don't get, don't get, don't get noise, noise, noise. Whoever I say won, don't get noise. Y'all love getting noise. It's just an All Access. Who won the All Access? Chill. But I can't wait to do that video. In all, Frank Martin didn't look scary last night. Hell. Keyshawn Davis, he has something to say. You know where you at now, though, boy. Yeah, fight um, over. Stop comparing me to these. You know what I'm saying? That's um, all I got. I, I ain't gonna say that. Like, Stop comparing me to these fighters. The Tanks and the Shakurs and the Devins and the Tia and the Josh Tillers and the... 
Um, kind of put me with no with them, but these other fighters, man, come on, man, come on, man. Let's be real, like be real with yourself, bro. I was saying that to everybody in the whole entire world. Now what the world want to say? Oh, Keyshaw, yeah, he will fuck that nigga. I was saying they gonna do that against everybody, man. I was saying that. Look, it's a dog eat dog world, okay? And when you have a performance like that, all of your ops are going to look at you and see you as chopped liver. Um, good thing that Frank Martin pulled that out, but now, you know, they looking at him and he looks like somebody that they can really attack, build their name off of. Keyshawn Davis is licking his chops right now, looking at Frank Martin. Frank Martin's going to have to change the attitudes of, of these fighters and many of you boxing fans. Oh, one more thing. One more thing before I go. Errol Spence had an interview, um, where they asked Errol Spence about Terrence Crawford's best win. Here's what Errol Spence had to say. Uh, nah, not at all. I mean, it was a good fight. He fought a one leg Jose Benavidez, and uh, it was a tough fight in his career. That says a lot. What does it say? I mean, he fought a one leg Jose Benavidez. So, what do you think it says? Well, what is Tennis's best victory for you? Uh, probably, I would say. Probably uh, Gamboa. Why do you say that? Because I can't thank anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> He said he just couldn't think of anybody. <laughs> Look, Terrence Crawford doesn't have the best resume in the world, but that doesn't mean that he's not a great fighter. I think Errol Spence knows that, and it's going to be one hell of a fight come July 29th. I can't wait to see it. Frank Martin, um, happy that you turned into a dog fight. There's a lot to learn there. Uh, there was a lot that we learned about Frank Martin. There's a lot that we learned about Hodoru Tunian. And there's a lot that we learned about Hodoru Tunian. There's, and there's a lot that we learned about Hodru to Neon. Okay, and there's a lot we learned about Hodru to Neon. Show biz, well, don't let me know how you all feel in the comments below. Get ready for the who won the all access. I'm out. Huh.